Okay, so let's see this one, a formal charge problem. It says, what are the formal charges on the arrowed nitrogen and oxygen atoms in the following molecule? Okay, so when you look at this molecule, it's nitro-methane. Uh, um, so it, for all the videos we've recorded so far, it gives that formal charge equation, okay? For me, that's not the easiest way to do it, okay? For me, you um, just really just count the electron, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can figure out um, whether it should be a plus one or a minus one or a neutral, okay? So since we're looking at nitrogen and oxygen, and we're gonna ask you a couple questions about nitrogen and oxygen. So nitrogen, how many valence electrons does nitrogen have? Five. Five, it's supposed to have five, okay? So when we look around the nitrogen, if there's a bond around it, we count it as one electron. If there's any lone pair electrons, like up here, we count those as one electron as well. Okay, so when we do that, we got one, two, three, four. Okay, because remember, we count these as one, because even though there's two electrons in each one of those bonds, one of those electrons is being used by this oxygen over here for its octet. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So five, and we have four, so we're gonna have a plus one, okay? So we, we needed five and we have four, so that's gonna be plus. And then we look over here, what about oxygen? How many uh, valence electrons if we look at the periodic table should it have? It should have six, right? And same sort of thing, we count each electron as one and each bond as one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Does it have six? Yes, so it's gonna be zero, okay? If we look at this oxygen up here, how many does it have? One, two, help me out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So what's the charge here? Negative one. Negative one, yeah. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so when we go over here and we look at the arrow of atoms, that one's positive, that one's neutral, so. Okay, any question on that one? Makes sense. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Just count one, two, three, four. It's so much harder when you do that bond. Yeah. Um, formula, yeah. Good question. Why does the structure is more stable? Why is it more stable than what? So you put a bond here, you're saying? Well, nitrogen, how many electrons can it have around it? No, that's how many valence electrons. How many nitrogen, how can it, many can it have all together? Eight. Eight. That's called the what? Octet rule. Okay, how many does it have already around? Two, four, six, eight. So we can't put ten, two more in there, it would be ten. That's a common thing that a lot of undergraduates like to do, is try to make atoms have a higher uh, than um, OK octet. Okay. Any other questions? It's a good question.